The use of deadly force is justified if the officer reasonably believes that death or great bodily harm to himself or another will likely result if he does not act. In this case, Officer Riggenberg subjectively believed that Clark had or was in the process of obtaining control of his weapon and that were Clark able to remove the weapon from its holster, both Riggenberg and Schwartzy likely would be shot. Riggenberg's subjective belief is also objectively reasonable. First, Clark's DNA was found on Ringenberg's gun, mace container, and his, and his holster. Next, the keeper's design to keep Ringenberg's utility belt in place had become unsnapped. Moreover, when Ringenberg is free of Clark, the video clearly shows that his belt is turned in such a way that his gun is behind his back. As he stands, Ringenberg can be seen adjusting his duty belt back to its normal situation. These facts corroborate Ringenberg's belief that Clark was forcibly pulling on his belt and holding his gun and it was objectively reasonable to believe he was attempting to remove it. Without the use of deadly force, Clark would have obtained possession of Ringenberg's firearm. Each stated their independent fear of being shot. Accordingly, the Hennepin County Attorney's Office has concluded that criminal charges are not warranted against either Officer Mark Ringenberg or Officer Dustin Schwartzy.